Hello, in this video I will show you how to use our XM controller to create BACnet compliant device. BACnet is a standard communication protocol for building automation, so first I will show you an example of typical server client setup. We will use BACnet IP network and our server is thermostat with humidity reading made by contemporary controls. It has IP address 192.168.130 and is connected to our network by a Wi-Fi router. Here we can see our thermostat running and showing actual temperature and humidity. Now we will switch to our laptop screen and use free edition of INA Backnet Explorer as our client. Now we can search network and our thermostat shows up right away. Next we can look into analog inputs and after refreshing active values, compare them with values from thermostat display. Now we will create our own BACnet server using XM21 control and Interworks ML software version 15v10. This new control will be connected to our network with IP address 192.168.15. Next, using Interworks software, we will create new BACnet server project and place in it our XM21 control. Please make sure that BACnet license and functional package are activated. In this project we'll use example BACnet server settings provided in our help file. Now we can open logic editor and check standard libraries automatically activated with our project. In the next step, we add BACnet server to our logic and please note, system automatically added for us basic BACnet library. We will also add two additional libraries to our project. One is BACnet default implementation, and second for system time. Going back to our help example, in step 2, we already added our server to the control, but it is very important to assign to the server unique identifier and we'll set it to number 21. Back in our help file, we'll go to step 3 and add object backnet IP data link to our backnet server. Following step 4, we will create new PLC program called backnet start PRG. This program will initialize our backnet server, but before working on it, we need first to do step 5 and create new PLC task with name BACnet task. This task initializes the BACnet server and can run in a slow interval, so recommended task cycle time is 100 milliseconds. Please make sure that no watchdog is activated for this task. Next, we'll add our program BACnet Start PRG 
to the new task call list. Going back to our help file, step 6, we will initialize time zone information and declare two special variables in our global variable list. Now we can go back and continue working on our program BACnet Start PRG. We will use code from help file. So first we cut our variable list from help example and paste it into variable declaration of our program. The same we cut main code from help example and paste it into our program. This program runs through all mandatory steps to initialize BACnet and when finished, sets global variable BACnet ready. This variable is automatically declared in our global variable list. Next, we'll compile and download our program. After downloading, our program is in stop mode and there is no data exchange active. We can also open status screen and see that BACnet is not running. Now we can start our PLC program and our BACnet server will be activated and run. We'll go back to in a BACnet Explorer as our client and search network again. Our newly created and activated server shows up right away with ID number 21. When we explore our server, we can see that we have only one object and it is device communication configuration. So now we'll add additional object to our server. So we'll open our BACnet server project again and add new device to our server. From our list, we select object BACnet analog value. We can click on this object and see all available parameters. For example, parameter present value. Our BACnet start program we created earlier was dedicated to configure, manage, and activate our server. To run additional functions, we can use any new, separate, and faster program, so we'll use already existing default program PLC prog. During editing of our program, built-in smart coding function will automatically show all available variables and their subcomponents. So to use our preset value from BACnet analog device, we just start typing name and then select from the list. Now we can create our logic, a simple counter, using those variables. After compiling and downloading, we can start our program and see it running. Going back to our BACnet Explorer, we can see that our server now has new device analog value. We can expand this object and see our parameter preset value. We can update actual value using read function 
and we can see that our server works properly. Our next step will be second control XM22 working as our BACnet client. This new control will be connected to our network with IP address 192.168.120. So first we'll look into client configuration example in a help file. And we can see that even if we create a client, we still must configure a server. So we'll copy our existing server program and name it XM22 BACnet Client. Next, we check properties and make sure we communicate with our new XM22 control. Then we delete all additional programs. And leave our server IP data link configuration and BACnet start program. This new server must have its own unique identification number, so we'll change it to 22. After compiling and downloading our program, we can start our server and see BACnet running. We can also see our new server on a network using BACnet Explorer. Going back to our help example, we'll use BACnet client read property function. So first we need to add device BACnet client read property to our configuration. Then we add new program, BACnet Client01. In this new program, we use code from our help example. but change our target device number to 21. And this is ident number of our existing server. All other target device properties stay the same. We'll add our program to fast PLC task and then compile it and download. Now we can start our client and see data flowing from our XM21 server. In a second part of this client example, we'll read data from our thermostat. So we created new program BACnet Client 2 and it is a copy of program for Client 1. Our thermostat's ident number is 3, so we change it in our program. Next, we need to set proper type and instance of object we are reading. So we can check in thermostat manual that current temperature is an object analog input instance zero. And we can change it or simply select it from the list. Now we need to add our program to fast task.
and then recompile and download. Now we can start our control and see it reading actual temperature from the thermostat. In next test, I used hair dryer to change thermostat reading and see our client following. This test concludes our video. Thank you for attention.